What's going on guys, it's you, uh, Jim and I again, so welcome to my YouTube channel and I have another product review for you guys. Um, I just bought them, they just came in uh, before yesterday. I have today's my day off, so it's Monday and I'm trying to do, uh, you know, try make time to do reviews and everything you guys. And yeah, let's get to it. Um, bought me a case, okay. This is individual, they're not in a package, they're not in a bundle, anything like that. These guys are on sale for, let me check on Amazon. I bought this off Amazon, and the reason why I bought them, because I don't have them, okay? Uh, I've been borrowing, where to go shooting range, I've been borrowing at the range, their earmuffs, their safety glasses and all that. You know, people sweat, you know, germs, you know, who knows what people have, and I don't even know if they even wipe their shit off before they let you borrow it. So, um, the case for this, this is the case for earmuffs and safety glasses. And these guys retail for, if I can find a damn thing, eh? That ain't right. Oh, here it is. Okay, this case here, it's called, I'll add all the stuff that I bought, I'll add a link to the bottom of the video. Um, CO2 Korea. Hard traveling case for Howard Light Impact Sport OD Electric um, Earmuffs and Genesis Sharpshooter Safety Hour Glasses. So these are $15.99 Prime. Okay, that's what these are. Okay, um, I'll show you the price tag if you get. Well, damn, my phone's kind of bright. I don't think you can see it. But $15.99 off of Amazon and voila. Okay. These earmuffs here and see the glasses. This one here I got like you know you can pretty much get it anywhere. They're really really cheap. I didn't get this at Amazon. Um, obviously I got this through my work and they're really nice sunglasses. They're really nice city glasses. So I just throw them in there. Okay. The hard case itself has a nice very zipper on top. It's soft. Nice big pocket here. And and you can put anything in here. I bought uh, these. I got this from work. Okay. These are. Um, Earplugs, okay. If I want to wear this and on top of my earmuffs for double protection and warm indoor range, um, they it's very soft inside, very soft. This is what you put your earmuffs, and this is where you put your safety glasses here. It's a nice compact hard case, and it comes with a handle for 15 bucks off Amazon. It's very cheap. Um, also, another bot, I bought this as well. I just put the batteries in, try them out, I wear them on, I turn them on, man, it's, I never owned an electronic earmuffs before, so I bought one, try it out, and I'm liking them, so Howard Light, uh, Late by Honeywell, these guys, okay, this is the, off Amazon as well, okay, these are Howard, the wrong one, this one, off Amazon, these are Howard Light, Okay, uh, Howard Light by Honeywell Impact Sports Sound Modification uh, Electronic Shooting Earmuffs, color teal. You can get different colors, and I always have to teal one. There are $44.99. They're on sale on Prime for Amazon for $34.99. You save 10%. Okay, um, I bought these. Okay, um, real nice packaging. It just tells you more about sound application, uh, sound. Um, amp applications, compact design, fit instructions, and all that. When you open it, it looks like this. Come with cable, which is this one here. Come with a cable here, and two AAA batteries, which I already set in here already. Um, back to the earmuffs. This one feels like leather, but I'm not too sure. It feels really good in hands, as you can see. Let me get this down to zoom. Okay, there it goes. Uh, really nice compact design. You flap out. It's in the cell. Okay. And really soft inside. Inside material is very soft. And look like they have like a little, um, kind of hard to see. It's soft inside here too as well in the middle. So the outside layer is cushion, but inside here is very, very soft, which I really like. So if your ears in here, you can wear it all day and never have a problem. Um, this is your on and off. Whoops. This is your on and off switch right here. This is your mic. 
so you can talk to the person you can hear them while you're wearing earmuffs they're on both sides they're very very soft and they're protected okay um, big logo here impact sports okay if you can see it impact sports um, here's that audio that I was telling you about the little jack and here's another mic right here on the side and your on and off switch battery the battery compartment is right here on top what you do is you slide upward it will come right out obviously the case the car cover comes off and this is where your battery goes into okay see it two AAA batteries okay easy to take in easy to take out um, I had tried and put them on and turn them on they sound good I never owned one before so this is a big big plus Okay, easy comes on. Uh, turn this way to turn them on. You hear click? You hear click? That means it's on. And that's low. As you go up more this way, it gets higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So I'm wearing them on. Oh, these are also adjustable as well. Okay, these are also adjustable as well. You can pull it, see, on both sides. And you wear them on. And then you can adjust it downward to fit my head on top. Okay. And here's a switch here. And I can hear as I'm, as I'm, oh, I can hear very, very clearly. I can even hear myself out. I mean, good, good. It's for, for this price here, the way it works. And I can hear, it's not very, very clear. But I can hear the tone of my voice as through the mic. Okay, it's very, very nice. I like that. I never owned one before. This is my first time. Um, I like them. They're thin, they're compact. Just fold them in. Just like that. Okay, real nice. Real nice. Um, goes in this hard case. Fits like a glove. Glasses. Okay, so I have a little shooting range, I have to take these out. Now let's say if I have a shooting range, I only got one set, one set of, of electronic earmuffs and one safety glasses. I have spare earplugs, so let's say I have a broader friend and I can use these and they can use this or I can use this and let them use this, it don't matter, you know. Um, or you can just, you know, vice versa. Um, if you don't have a spare glass, sunglasses, uh, spare city glasses, you might have to borrow one from the range. Uh, if you bring a friend, or unless they have, you know, you just want to get one and give them one. Um, overall, nice package. Okay, zipped up nice. Hand care bag. Good for going to the range and have everything on your own and just take care of it. Yeah, I, pre I prefer bringing your own stuff and buying your own stuff than always borrowing it. You know, it's sweat germs you know who knows they wipe it down before they give it to you which they don't because a lot a lot of places you know your bar and print stuff you know that way you can do what you gotta do and have fun and all that they don't wipe it down clean they just throw it in the box and you know oh, you need your earmuffs here here's your earmuffs right here you don't know you know i should start bringing wipes with you all the time you know um overall i like it i recommend it cheap for 34.99 okay it can't beat it for amazon okay also i bought this this is a nice backpack from Rebo, okay? This is the large, large version, okay? It's very, very nice. It's, um, I, don't, I don't know how the reliability is, because I just got it. So, um, it's Velcro with a US patch here, okay? You can put different patch here, your name, whatever you want. Has a nice straps here on the side, on both sides. Front, nice straps. You can put your chest straps here, and also on the bottom, down here, down here in the bottom, you can put your strap here as well, okay? So, so not only that, you cover the, the, the belt will hold here, but the hole in the bottom too. So when you're wearing the backpack, if you carry anything heavy in there, especially when you're loading up ammo in your backpack, that's a big beneficial. That's the reason why I picked this backpack. This backpack is cheap. It's not that expensive. 
okay uh, I bought this off my Amazon with the earmuffs as well there are priced for hmm $39.99 okay Rebo geared mili uh, military technical backpack large army three-day assault pack moly bug out bag okay for and they have two colors they have black and they got tan I always got the black okay real nice little pack got plenty of pockets okay um, right here is the top pocket obviously I have a spare see the glasses and extra ear, uh, earplugs you can put anything in here you want okay this is what we carrying to me to the range every time I go to the range another pack back here a little po pocket has velcro here on the side here you can put anything in here you want like loops you know like a paintball barrel or you know whatever you want to put in here you can hang in there down here has a nice big pocket has another pocket inside here if you guys can see right here and right here you can put your pin or whatever you want to put okay real nice backpack also on the inside here big 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 compartment okay big big compartment okay um you can put your two three guns in here if you want some extra earmuffs okay they got a pocket right here and another pocket in front of it that's netted that you can see through but the one behind it it's not netted so you can put like your phone here or your wallet here out here you can put your keys right here if you want there's another pocket right here plenty of room here plenty of room you can put your laptop in here okay um after this compartment you got the larger compartment up in here okay this one here you can put anything that you want to attach like your shoes or your paintball shoes you can put your other gun if it's big and bulky in a hard case you can stick it in here and it holds it in place it has a nice pocket net right here you can put like spur clothes or you know your jersey you know where you want to put in there okay big big room look at all that room there okay and one other one other thing I want to mention over here has another pocket right here okay you can put your you can put like sunglasses wallet phone your your uh, uh, your i uh, your what you call it your mp3 player any mp3 player you can put in here you know to keep it out of the way back here that's one thing i also like about this okay this is the inside way you wear now if you pull these apart you got another pocket right here okay this is very very soft it's very cushioned you rip this out you can put another thing in here iPad your laptop or you can put a um, you know those bulletproof vest the steel ones that you, you you slide into your bulletproof vest you can put it right here okay it will fit right in okay so let's say something happened at the range and someone getting robbed or something shot and they get ready to shoot me I'll just help my backpack up and they'll shoot the backpack but when they go through the backpack, they're hitting the, the steel plate or veiler you want to stick in here and it'll protect you. Okay, that's a big, big plus as I think, you know. All these pockets here and you can put a steel plate in here in the back of your backpack and use it as a body shield guard. Man, why not? For $39.99, for you can't beat it, okay, from Rebo. Okay, um, I had checked the reviews on this. Some may, you might see some threads start coming out and stuff like that, but I checked it out, dude. It's kind of good made, you know. I don't, the tags here, I don't know what's it made from. I don't know if it's made from Thailand, Vietnam, or Taiwan, or anything like that, but Rebo Tactical. For a good backpack like this, have all the pockets like that, I don't see why not, you know. But yeah, um, Hope you guys trying to help you guys save some money and find some gear for you guys for yourself. This is good for hiking. You guys want to hike, bring some extra gear, clothes, shoes, spare shoes, flip flops, uh, cooking wear when you go out there hunting and all that stuff. This is really a good idea for it as well. I'm using this as a range bag to carry out my, my range stuff. So I can bring, I can put like 500 rounds in here or a thousand rounds in here in the big pocket, in the mid pocket. 
the back pocket I will have my Kimber, my Nighthawk and my HKPV9 in the case and throw it in there so and then when I go to like, range I'll just carry one whole bag I have to carry so many things with me because when I first brought my guns to the range I had to carry two hands the big box of ammo of 800 rounds and I had to go walk back to my car grab my guns bring them inside and then I walk back to my car and get my targets you know my paper targets so I can put my paper targets in here too with my bullet and my gun so overall money well spent for a, for a gun for a gun, shooting range gun bag can't beat it you know also if you guys can get a duffel bag or a little tote bag you know people I heard this from another YouTube that's kind of uh, kind of a bigger high subscriber he has like I think over Two or three hundred subscribers on his YouTube. He had mentioned somebody, one of his, uh, not one of his friend, but one of the guys that that went to the shoot range that they go to shoot range with him. That at the same, they don't know each other, but you know, he saw a guy brought a tow bag or like a duffel bag. He put it on a table, walked to the restroom, used the bathroom, came back out, and his shit was gone. Okay, it was gone. The gun stolen. Someone took it. I don't know who took it. Okay. And he doesn't know who took it, you know. So he was ex explaining that through uh, through, through YouTube. I said, "Well, damn, that sucks, man. If that was my night. I'll be pissed, you know." But the duffel bag, tote bag, those work great as well to put your ammo in on that. But you cannot wear it on you, and you can't wear it on you and go to the bathroom and then expect to be still there. You know, if something is there and no one's watching it, they're gonna take it. Okay. So if you got a tote bag, double bag, if you guys are going to use that for the range as well, you can. Just keep your eye on it. Now if I have my guns and ammo here and I need to use the bathroom, I'm wearing it on. I'm using the bathroom. I'm coming right back out. I'm not leaving my stuff out there. You know, people still, okay? People still, they steal your stuff, okay? You know, we know people out there are nasty. Not all, not everybody are good people. Not every, not everyone is genuine and honest and hardworking and they like to steal shit. You know, and then you know, even a thief. You know, a thief is gonna be a thief. Okay, if they don't have what they don't have, and they see what they like, you know, if you're not watching it, you know, they're gonna take it. You know, especially okay, if you have like say ten thousand dollars on the table, and then no one's watching, no one's observing it, and that guy will come by and he'll look at it, and see it, and he's gonna take it. I guarantee you, it's gonna take it. Most likely, ninety ninety-five percent of the time, they're gonna take it. The other five percent, they're honest. You know, some people found some really nice, good quality cash, and they're bringing it back to the police department. They won't report. Hey, the, we found a lot of money here. It's not on to us. We want to do a good deed and return to the police department. They're very, very rare. You see those. Some people see it and they take it and they use it for themselves. And then when you ask a thief, okay, a thief, okay, that steals people's stuff or even money, they're gonna. And when you ask them, why would you steal that? That doesn't even belong to you. You work hard for your money. And people work hard for their shit, and no one's watching it, and you're just gonna take it. Why? They, you know, most cases they're gonna tell you it was there to take. It was there for to, it was there to take. Okay, it was there for for to take it. You know, it's not just gonna sit there. You know, and no one's watching it. No, it doesn't bother nobody. They're gonna take it. You know, and you can ask them why. Why did you take, why would you steal somebody's stuff that don't belong to you? It's on the table. No one bothers you. It's, it's on the table. You don't know who it belongs to. Leave it alone. It could be somebody else's stuff. You know, why did you take it? And they're gonna say, because it was there. It was there to take. You know, people still. You know, even my paintball. When I go paintball, I don't have my gear on the table all the time. I grab whatever I need and get ready to play and get it being repaired. My big bag goes back in my car. Why? Even my backup paintball marker. Why? I put them in my car. Why? People steal your shit, okay? They took that bag and they'll put it in their vehicle and they take off. And you come back after you play a game at paintball or whatever, or you even go to shooting range and you come back, it's like, who took my stuff? Where's my stuff? I know I left it right here. Who took my stuff? And you ask everybody around you, it's like, we don't know. We're out there playing with you. We don't know who took your stuff. Ain't nobody keep your eye on your shit. You gotta watch out on your own, you know? So like when I go play paintball, I take my big bag out, take everything out I need what I need. My backup gun, my tools and everything, my extra mask, hopper, tank, whatever, put it in the back of the bag that I don't what I don't use, put it by my car. Roll down roll down the little windows a little bit, leave a good crack so the air can flow through and breathe, so it stay cool in there, so your stuff can stay cool in there a little bit. It's gonna get hot on a very sunny day, but your stuff is secure. You know, no one takes your shit. But if you leave on the table and no one's watching and no one's looking, they're gonna take it and they're gonna be gone. You know, and you're wondering 
who is still so, so that because you left it out there man ain't nobody gonna sit there and watch your stuff you out there having fun enjoying your time shooting range paintball whatever you know watch your stuff you know if, you, if you're not too sure and you, and you go to a range or you go to another paintball field that you're not very familiar with take well what you need and, and you know use what you're gonna use everything else put it back in the car lock it don't leave it out you know I really recommend that because I've seen that a lot I've seen especially in the paintball world they steal your shit at the paintball field I mean like if you don't watch your stuff especially a nice paintball gun like this yeah they will Take it if you're not there and you're not watching it for 45 minutes or an hour yeah expect that to be gone okay people still okay they just still they're just the way they are okay hope you guys like the video please give me a thumbs like subscribe please share as well if you can if you can that'd be really appreciated and uh hope some more products come by to do more review for you guys okay thank you for watching and supporting the channel okay um give me a thumbs up again um I'll add the links in the bottom below of the video. So if you decide to want to get this um, earmuffs or this bag here or this box here and all that, I'll add links to that way you guys can, you know, get your stuff. You know, it's cheap. It's not that expensive, and it's for long-term use for your own gear. And every time you want to go to a shoe range or a paintball or whatever, you know, try and got to find good deals for you guys, and you know support the channel and help you guys out like I said all the stuff here I bought it myself I didn't I'm not sponsored or anything like that but we were really nice if I did you know but you know uh, all I ask is for a thumbs up and subscribe and share the, share the videos that's all I ask for you know um, just doing this for fun and nothing too much you know so deep I would like to but it costs a lot of money to do you know YouTube channels and it, it does it uh, uh, like Keep buying stuff and do reviews. Keep buying stuff and do reviews. And all my stuff just sitting there and I don't even use it. You know what I mean? So why? You know, like, if someone give me a product and I can do a review on, great, I'll do it and I'll mail it back. But yeah, I don't know anybody with that. You know, so it is what it is. So yeah, all the stuff here I bought with my own money, my own hard working money, and I just do what I do and have fun. You know. So I hope you guys like the video and um, keep the Second Amendment strong. Okay, support and um, the paintball field. I been want to play for a very long time. I haven't played in two years. I'm very rusty. My Lux I just sit in the back collecting dust. I want to go play so bad, but I work weekends. Every weekend I work. I don't have weekends off anymore, which sucks. And I do want to go play. Um, and I still vape, you know. I still vape. So I still use my my Pwn Chip Square Big Block uh, Blue Box Mile with the Temple 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter RD, uh, RDA Temple on there. And just do my own thing pretty much but thank you guys again for watching and supporting and hope all this stuff helps you if you need some stuff and gear and save you guys some money okay till next time maybe i'll see you guys at the paintball range or see uh, at the shooting range or i'll see you guys at the paintball field have fun you know get to know each other and make i don't mind making new friends and you know overall just welcoming you know to the sport you know and just overall having fun and meet new people you know i don't mind that at all i actually need that some in my life as well everybody hates it. it's nice to meet new friends too you know but other than that that's all i have for today and thank you for watching till next time peace out bye